I'm Richard Ryan, welcome to Survival Gear. This week's episode, we talk sleeping bags. All right, today we're gonna to go over the different types of sleeping bags. We're not gonna pick one specific sleeping bag to do a review, just go over the different types so it can help you make a better decision whenever you go to purchase one. Let's go over the different shapes of sleeping bags first. You have mummies, semi-rectangular, and then rectangular. You see a lot of people choosing these because whenever you, whenever you get inside of it, it makes a tight seal around your body. Less, less space, more warmth. A lot of people prefer these on hiking because they pack down. It takes a lot less space than if you were to get a rectangular or even a semi-rectangular bag. Now, one of the big cons to it, in my opinion, is how restrictive these are. If you look, a big guy like me getting down in one of these, my legs are gonna be pretty cramped. This is another, another mummy style sleeping bag here. It's just a different temperature rating. This is a 25, this is a 40. Now this guy here is a rectangular sleeping bag. One of the big pros to the rectangular sleeping bags is if you look, there's actually room for me to move around inside this. That's also one of the cons for a lot of people because the more room you have, the more air in there, it potentially takes longer to heat up inside. So uh, you'll definitely be a little more cool in this than if you were wrapped up into a mummy bag. So now that you have a basic overview of the shapes, Let's talk about the different types of fill. You have synthetic and you have down. No one bag does everything well, in my opinion. A lot of people prefer synthetic bags. If you're going on a, a camping trip, you wanna store this in your truck or something like that, you can afford the extra space that it takes. Synthetic fill takes more material to heat you up or to insulate than down does. Down packs down to a more compact size, so you'll see a lot of experienced hikers or, or pro hikers, whatever you wanna call them. It packs down really, really small, nice and, uh, nice and lightweight, nice and fast, and a lot of the guys prefer that. It's fairly simple to prevent your down bag from getting wet. All you have to do is get a dry store sack. Uh, a lot of those are water Proof. Another thing with the more expensive down bags, you'll find that they're using higher quality materials on the bag itself. So you'll see temperature ratings on most of your bags, summer, three season, cold, and winter. Now the ratings, plus 25 for this Polar Pod here. This is a, what I would consider to be a summer bag. It's 40 degrees. A lot of people shy away from 40 degree bags. They just go straight for a 25, just because they can use this as a three season bag. They could take and put long johns on or something like that, wear a layer, extra layer of clothes or something like that inside this and it can become a extreme cold weather bag. Another thing to consider is who you're hiking with, who you're camping with. If you have a significant other, know that they have left and right side sleeping bag zippers. So whenever you take and you go to sleep at night, you could potentially zip up with somebody else. So here's my two cents on these sleeping bags. I tried sleeping in every single one of these uh, one night. I find that mummy bags for me personally are too restrictive. I end up usually going hunting somewhere or go camping somewhere. I end up needing something like a rectangular bag. I'm fine with wearing long johns. Granted, whenever I did sleep in the mummy bag, I slept for about an hour on my back, which I'm normally a stomach sleeper, and it kept me really, really warm. Every situation is different for every individual, so try to factor in every single type of feature so it custom tailors to your needs. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you pull that trigger on the subscribe button. What I wanna know from you today is... It's been raining a lot, so this is probably the most dry wood I can find out here right now. And uh, it's long enough where uh, I, can, I can chop with this and be able to get the uh, pocket chainsaw on it, so. F this.